I'm Craig Wu. I'm the Receiving and Catalog Supervisor at TPC. And I'm here today to talk to you about my specialized Epic Evo. Every year I kind of like to have a big goal. Last year was Unbound, the year before was Steamboat Gravel. This year I decided, hey, I'm gonna have this bike, a Leadville 100. I've never done it before. I've lived in Colorado now for over 30 years. But now is the time. So I actually luckily got into the lottery on my first try. And so kind of really tailored this bike towards you know, something that is very, very efficient and light to climb on. My understanding is that Leadville is really one on the climbs and uh, really wanted to emphasize a bike that could climb really well, but then also didn't sacrifice much on the descents. For Leadville, I'm going to swap to much lighter tires. I'm gonna run Specialized Renegade Control T5s front and rear. Those are really low rolling resistance tires. My understanding that Leadville is primarily, you know, bumpy double track not necessarily a ton of rocks, and so those tires should hold up well and still roll really fast. I also will swap out the dropper for a rigid post for Leadville, but that's a very, very specific thing. I can't imagine ever doing it for anything other than Leadville. You're climbing so much that being able to drop 800 grams from a reverb setup to a carbon rigid post is probably gonna be advantageous. Luckily, everything kind of worked out where TPC got SRAM transmissions in stock right at the same time that this frame came in. So I decided to go with the newest of the new and went with the uh, XXSL. I also had never had a power meter on a mountain bike before. And so I thought, hey, now's the time. I also had gotten Control SL wheels I think that's probably one of the main key reasons why this bike can be so light is the Control SL wheels, which are like, I think 1,240 grams for a wheel set. And it's so far really, really strong. Went with the Sid fork. I've always been kind of a, a Fox guy, but I decided to try Rock Shocks, and I actually really, really like this fork. One of the things I love about it is that it is super quiet. It's just so nice to ride. I went with level ultimate brakes for piston. It definitely allows me to go a little bit faster on the descents. Race face bar and stem, WTB Silverado saddle, carbon rails, and uh, SPD pedals. So for Leadville, which is in less than two weeks, I'm looking to do hopefully under eight and a half hours. I would be very happy with a, a sub eight and a half hour Leadville and um, hoping to get that belt buckle. <laughs>